Hello, hello, my squidlings. It is Katie here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing something really chill. We're just going to be painting in some acrylic gouache, and I'm going to be making a pattern for something I'm going to be making soon enough. So, look forward to that. A little bit of a sneak peek. Um, but anywho, I do want to let you all know that today's video is very generously being sponsored by Skillshare. At less than $10 a month if you get their annual plan. It's super inexpensive and you can learn so many things on there. You can brush up on an old skill, you can learn a new skill um, from anything from creative design, illustration, business, uh, photography. They've got so many classes. They've got tens of thousands of classes and honestly in this really scary time it's just been really nice to go over there and just get out of a rut and um, you know try something new. I've been brushing up on some old skills that I kind of haven't done in a while um, and I just really have been enjoying Skillshare lately and they've been getting me out of creative rut so I appreciate that as well. So if you are interested in Skillshare I will have a link down below. It is available to the first 1,000 people who click the link. You'll get your first two months for free so make sure you click that so you can have two free months of Skillshare Premium because uh, Skillshare Premium is amazing and you should totally go do that. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be painting today and we are going to be using, if I can get them, we're going to be using acrylic gouache. Woo! And I haven't used acrylic gouache in so long, so this is going to be really fun. A lot of trial and error, um, so bear with me. I think I want to do a little bit of this in real time. Uh, but anyway, I let's get to painting. Let's stop looking at my face and let's paint. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to take my paints. And I'm going to put them in these little wells. Um, I'm not going to lie, some of these wells still have like dried up paint in them. That will definitely reactivate. But oh well. Um, so I want to do kind of like this sky blue background. So actually I'm going to get the blue out first and the white. And if you don't know anything about acrylic wash, this stuff dries permanently. <laughs> so um, I will have to scrape these paints out. However, this palette was made for these paints, even though I don't use it for these paints. So, yeah. Um, so I'm going to be painting the background first. Um, so I got my paints. I'm just doing a super simple background here. Oh, I don't remember which. I think it's this side. And then we're just going to tape this down with some very appropriate washi tape. I didn't really realize how appropriate this was. If you don't know, which you don't because I haven't told you, we are going to be painting some squids because I feel like it's been forever since I've painted some cute little squids and it is very relaxing for me to do so. So why not make just like a little cute, you know what, I'm not going to tape the ends, I don't feel like taping the ends. Um, and so we're just going to go in with a paintbrush and we're just going to paint this background and my palette may or may not be on camera. Um, yeah, let's move you guys. A little bit of an angle in on here. Um, move these paints. Yeah, so I am just going to be mixing a ton of white with this blue. And you should probably never mix paint with your paintbrush, but I'm a rebel and I'm liking this color. It's a little dark, but that's okay. So we're going to take this huge glob of paint and we just going to paint. Now I know you're supposed to use some water with acrylic gouache. Or any gouache for that matter. So I need to make sure to keep my brush wet. See I have a hard time with gouache because uh, it's, it's similar to watercolor but it's different. And so I tend to treat it like watercolor and it's definitely not meant to be treated like watercolor. Uh, so yeah, that's why I have trouble with it. So I'm trying to practice and thanks to Skillshare, <laughs> I'm getting to that. Um, one of the videos I've been watching lately is by somebody here on YouTube actually. Their YouTube name is Visual Mind. Anyway, um, I really like their videos on YouTube and I found out they had a Skillshare class and I was like, who boy, sign me up. Um, and so that's exactly what I did, I signed me up. Um, and yeah, so I really have been enjoying watching them paint and I've been learning some good stuff while I was at it. So yeah, and they like to teach about watercolor and gouache and that's what I'm here for. So, you know. 
I'm also trying to treat this like acrylics. Oh no, look at me. I'm not doing so hot. <laughs> I think the one thing I really need to learn is how to get out of my head with some of this stuff. Like, I treat it like a medium that I should be painting with. Like, gouache, or not gouache, I treat gouache like watercolor, or I treat acrylic gouache like, excuse me why, clean my brush off a little bit. Anyway, I treat it like acrylic or something of that nature, and I'm like, I need to stop, somebody stop her. This is definitely a new type of video for me, and let me know if uh, you like it. I don't know how I feel about showing my face, and I don't know how I feel about real-time videos where I just talk. That's why I don't live stream that often, because I get super nervous. I want to start live streaming more often, though. I just, between being nervous and not really having the time, uh, I just don't. So, yeah. Also, the good stuff, good stuff, the good thing about this stuff is that it dries really quick. So by the time I'm done, I might be able to do a second layer. Also, I'm trying to just do like really, dang it, let's not get paint on our table. Anyway, I'm trying to do like a really, I say really, but not super abstracty kind of background. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where this goes. I'm just throwing paint around at the moment. And it's kind of fun, I'm not going to lie. It's a little streaky, but that's... I'm not... I think that's kind of what I'm going for. I don't want it perfectly smooth. I just... I want it to be fun. So that's what I'm going for here, is just fun. And I mean, that's all art is supposed to be, right? <laughs> I feel like some of us artists try way too hard for our art to be perfect when it should just be fun. And that is totally a side rail. Um... But, you know, I that's how I feel, so what is? And I really like this blue color. It's it's a nice blue. But I'm liking how this is looking. It's super abstracty, and that's perf for what I want. Oh, no, we got yellow in our white. You know what? That might be not a bad thing. It might be a bad thing. Yeah, it's a bad thing. It's, it's a bad thing. We're learning as we're going. And just cover it up with more white. Except we're not going to put white in the, uh, <laughs> the spot where I had some leftover yellow. And we're just going to try to cover... <laughs> oh no, we've ruined it already, kids. Oh, I think I might have diffused the white here. Or the yellow. We don't want to diffuse the white. Alright. I need to stop. I need to let this dry. And then I'll be back to paint some cute squids. So for these squids, I got some colors. I'm just gonna do some like little rainbowy squids, and I'm gonna kind of sketch them out first, um, without really any rhyme or reason. And I'm just gonna kind of go right in and hope I don't mess this up. Um, I think it'll be fine. Famous last words, am I right? I'm gonna go in with my yellow up higher. Because I don't really want to try dealing with yellow down here in the little darker area. Um, and these squids are basically... And I'm not going to shade them or anything. I just, I just want to do some cute little squids. Add some water to that mix. Or else it's going to get super dry brushy and that's not what I want and this yellow for sure will have to have more layers and it's definitely going to dry darker as it's already showing me that it's going to do which is okay um gouache tends to dry darker on the lighter colors and then tends to dry lighter on the darker colors so if you don't know that about gouache it does <laughs> all right so now that we have the little head we're going to just draw some cute little tentacles. Um, again, I'm not trying to be too perfect with this, especially since this is like the first layer. Um, we'll get some little tentacles, some long tentacles, that is. I probably should have went in with a layer of white first, but that's okay. 
on this channel we make mistakes and then we fix them <laughs> all right so we got one little squid there and we gotta let that one dry so um let's move on to a different one i'm gonna try to do like some different poses and stuff all right since we went in with yellow um i think we'll go in with uh you know what purple's speaking to me so we'll do purple next it's like i don't even know if that's sort of the color name but whatever um let's see we'll have this one i'm gonna paint this one kind of upside down and I don't think I'm going to do this one as short as the other one. I think I might make this one a little longer. So, we'll just sketch out this long body. Get a little bit more water. Oh, this one's drying nice and dark. And then we'll do some little tentacles here. And then I'll draw in like the little faces last. I don't know what kind of faces I want to do. I don't know if I want to do like cute little derpy faces or what. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> And then we'll make the little tentacles kind of curve around here, just to give some motion. Gotta add some motion to these little squidlets. Oh, that one's cute. Alright, we'll do red next. All right, where should we put a red one? We'll put it here. I'll make this one's top a little larger and make it more like squared. It kind of looks like a little acorn. <laughs> and then maybe we'll make it like waving. Something like that. On the little tentacles down here. Making sure this dry is mostly flat. I don't want like big ridges of paint. Usually I don't care too much, but I want to scan this so um, and then we'll have the other tentacle down here. So, oh well, this tentacle's kind of stunted, but that's okay. It's still cute. Maybe we'll try to make this one a little larger to offset how stunted this one turned out. Alright, then we'll do green. My water! You can't see my palette, but I'm talking you through it anyway. Um, let's see, I don't really want to put my hand in this paint. We'll do one up here. Do like a little baby one. Like it's not a baby in some of its size, like, but it'll be shorter. Um, and then we'll have its tentacles going this way. Oh shoot, I kind of did that one in the middle, didn't I? Uh, we'll do one over here, I guess. That's okay, it's cute. And then the last color I've got for like basic colors, I plan on mixing them, is uh, blue. Which is a different color blue. It's like a cobalty blue and it's darker. Um, let's do this one upside down. Uh, should I make it a long one? I don't know. I'll just make like the top of it really long. How about that? And then we'll do the body really short. We'll do like, kind of looks like a little mushroom. <laughs> 
leave a mushroom. And then, uh, what direction? I guess we could do, we'll do a curved one and a straight. That one doesn't have too much motion, but that's okay. All right, now I want to mix them. So I want to make an orange squid because orange is my favorite color and I like making orange squids. Let's do a teeny one over here. Do this, it's a little teeny one. I think another, ooh, I got a water droplet in there. I think another thing I'm gonna do is uh, add some little bubbles. So I can fill in some of the space a little bit. And then what other colors can we mix? Let's make like a, a blue green. Ooh, it's like a nice dark blue green. I might add a little bit of yellow to it just to uh, lighten it up just a tad. Ooh, that's way more than a tad. Oh, duh, this isn't watercolor. I can just add white. <laughs> Duh! I mean, I suppose you can do it in watercolor too, but I tend to not add white to my watercolors. Sitting here trying to lighten it up, not getting the color I want. Duh, just use white. Okay, well, let's put this little one, put it over here. We've got a lot of warm colors over here. I'll put that one over here. Let's see, we'll make it pointing this way. And we'll make this one a long one. Yeah, I made that one uh, way too thick, so we'll just pretend there are two tentacles there. <laughs> I might actually throw some blue in the middle between those after it dries. So I made that one way, way too dark. That's okay though, or too thick rather. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna make this kind of go into here. So we'll just carve out some of that. Yeah, that's the one thing I like about acrylic wash is that it's super, super easy to fix mistakes. Um, what other colors? We could go for a dark, like a brown. Oh, this is like the color of a little vampire squid. You know what? I'm gonna add a vampire squid. Those are my favorites anyway. They're so cute. They're like little umbrellas. I just love them. All right, I think my squids are done. I think I'm going to add some bubbles now. And for the bubbles, um, I'm just gonna be doing something real simple here. I'm just gonna add some blue. And mixing it with white, just like I did the background. All right, we're gonna put a big old, ooh, ooh, ooh we got a big old dollop of, got a big old dollop of water right here. Alright, we're gonna do a big bubble right here, and I'm gonna add a little bit more paint because it was mostly water just a second ago. <laughs> I'm really bad at doing circles in paint. I feel like that's something really specific to be bad at. But it's I find it quite frustrating. <laughs> So I'm kind of doing them in a lighter color right now, and I am going to go back with a darker blue to just add some depth. But right now I just really want to get the bubbles on the paper. I 
I really hope you guys are painting along with me. That would be really fun. And we can chat. Like I said, I would love to do live streams, but I'm a chicken. So, probably won't be doing those anytime soon. Uh, but to add some depth to these bubbles, I'm just gonna really be adding a little bit of darker shading into the bottoms of them. Um, like I said, this whole piece is gonna be pretty simple. I'm not gonna overthink it. I just want to have some fun, really. So that's what my art channel has been lately, just me sitting here having fun. And there's nothing wrong with that, art should be fun. Alright, I think I'm gonna leave the bubbles like this. They're just like weird abstract shapes inside the bubbles, and I think that makes them unique. I say I'm gonna leave them like that, and then here I am, adding details. Alright, I need to stop, stop, Katie, stop, somebody stop her. Oh, I got way too much water. Alright, let's add some bubbles here. Ooh, yeah, you see how much water that is? Oh, that's so much water. And here... Really what I did with this one in the middle is just kind of made a template for myself almost, like the, the kind of bubbles I want to make. Um, I'm really strange, I do that. I like, I'll do the, <laughs> the initial ones first, like, and I'll fully flush them out and then I'll just add the little whatever I'm adding to uh, really basically around the piece. That blends in really well, so we're gonna add a little bit of darker blue. I'm making it blend in more. Let's add more white. There we go. I can actually see the bubble. You know what? I was just talking about how I don't make perfect circles. I feel like bubbles aren't perfect circles either. So, how have you all been? I'm just kind of painting right now. There's really nothing much to talk about. So, how have you all been? Um, like I said, it's been such a long time since I have done a video like this, and I really do enjoy doing them, so... Um, it takes a little longer to film, but overall it's a fun experience, especially since I get to kind of chat with you guys, and I really enjoy doing that, so. Um, what is your favorite thing to paint right now? Maybe even your favorite medium right now? For me, I'm obviously I really like painting squids, it's really therapeutic for me, but I've been having fun painting Little Mermaid, stirring Mermaid, um... And I'm really just, honestly, I'm having fun with gouache right now, but uh, outside of that, watercolor is definitely my favorite. It's it's kind of funny to me, because uh, I used to be super in love with markers, and don't get me wrong, I still am. I love using Copics. Like, they're definitely one of my favorites. Um, but I don't know, I, uh, watercolors just kind of grew on me. And I'm really glad about it, because I absolutely love them. Definitely glad I decided to try them, because um, initially I was really scared of trying watercolor. She says that she's painting with not watercolor. <laughs> and uh, now it's my favorite medium, so I am really glad about that. Also, if you can't tell, none of these bubbles have a rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of plopping in some paint. Uh, and having fun and waiting on these four bubbles right here to dry because I used way too much water. Which I'm really good at, so, you know, whatever. Alright, while I'm waiting on those to dry, I'm going to go back into some of these squids and uh, get more paint on them. Darken them up, however we say that. Alright, so... This little yellow one definitely needs it. <laughs> this one may require a few. Actually, you know what? Let's grab some white and see if we can't make it a little bit more opaque. It will lighten the squid, but I'm okay with that. Kind of what I wanted in the first place. And it'll probably have that yellow, like the darker yellow outline, but I'm okay with that too. But white and gouache definitely helps making things more opaque. Um, it's kind of the point of it. 
All right, blue. I do not actually have this blue on my palette anymore, so I'm going to have to squeeze some more out. You know what? I was just thinking about it. I don't think I'm going to put any faces on these. Um, I was going to, but I think they're really cute kind of on their own, and they don't really need anything extra, so I think I'm just gonna leave them as is, just little silhouettes. I think they're cute. Just like they are. You're perfect just the way you are. No, I lost my orange. All right, I gotta make some more orange. I figured some of the colors would dry out. I think that's the the biggest issue with acrylic gouache is if you have a bunch of paint just kind of out onto your palette, it's going to dry very quickly. And again, I'm going to do that same method where I mix in a little bit of white. Because again, this is one of those colors that mixes really, uh, it's a contrasting color to blue, so it's going to look kind of brown. And that's definitely not the color we want. We wanted orange, not brown. Alright, we'll let that one dry. Let's see, on to the next one. Let's grab some red. I think water control is my biggest issue here. Again, a little bit more white. Might even make this squid a little pinky, but that's okay. Honestly, I'm liking the little, the brighter squids, and I'm really glad that I added white to them because I think it makes them look really cool. And I kind of like this drop shadow that it's got going on here. I think it makes it look really unique. And then since I'm pretty sure that's dry again, we're going to go right back over it. Because it still had some blue peeking through. And we certainly don't want that. Oh, I just gotta let it dry. Stop, let it dry, Katie, let it dry. You know what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and mix white with the purple because I'm not liking how this purple came out on these squids. Over here, it's a little too dark for me. So I think, honestly, I might just mix white with all of them except for the, the vampire squids because I think they're cute the way they are. White is super versatile, and again, I'm not really used to using it in my artwork. Never really realized how handy it was until gouache. <laughs> oh my gouache. All right. And honestly, the green looks good too. I think I'm going to leave the green the way it is. Actually, I don't even think... Well, I'll probably go ahead and add another layer just for posterity, but... Also, I'm sorry I'm talking so much right now. I'm really focused. I get really focused when I do art, which is definitely not a bad thing. Alright, now I can kind of remedy this part up right here. And decide where I want the tentacle to be versus where it is. So I'm going to have to be carving out a lot of that, which is okay. That's okay. It's <laughs> one big tentacle and one little tentacle. That's fine. You know what? It's kind of charming. We're going to keep the one big, one little. Make sure I get those vampire squids. 
second layer before that paint dries because it is drying super quick. Really just the body needs it. Oh no! Water drop! It's okay, we can work with it. We can work with it. Actually, maybe we can't. I might have to blot that up. No, it won't blot up. It's okay. We'll just make it work. There we go. Just make this side a little longer. There we go. Fixed, kind of. All right, and then I'm gonna do a second layer of that green. And it's a little bit of a chunkier squid. That's okay, we love all sizes of squid here. All right, we're doing another layer on this orange squid here. Oh, that's a lot of water. We need to get rid of this water. Okay. Yep, we gotta blot her up. She's got a hole, huh? <laughs> oh well, while we wait for that hole to dry, I am going to get some of this sky blue, mix it with some white, and try to fix up this right here. like it was never there. Actually, you can totally tell it was there. I still need to do some blending. <laughs> That's the hardest part about gouaches, especially if you let it dry. It's very difficult to mix the, uh, the same exact color because they dry differently depending on what shade it is. But we're just gonna put some abstract marks around here to make it look like it was supposed to be there. I think I'm trying way too hard. <laughs> oh, there's a little bit of red in there. We don't want that. All right, we're gonna blend this just a little more and then I'm gonna quit. All right, so I did a little bit off camera. I kind of messed up, so I figured. I was just gonna finish it there, but I messed up, so. All right, now let's go back to this poor guy in the middle. <laughs> I don't know why this hole won't close. Maybe I need more white? I feel like white is not gonna be the thing that solves my problems, but we're gonna try. Add a little bit more yellow in here because that was certainly not the color I was going for. There we go, it's a little bit more orange. And then I need some white to cover up this poor hole in the poor squid's heart. I'll probably do some layers of that off camera, but for now that's looking okay. Um, and we've got this pinky red that I need to make some layers on because it did some weird stuff. Over here, I think it's because of the white. And probably the fact that I didn't have enough water on my brush. I think <laughs> that I'm done with this for now. Um, all right, let's peel this tape off, even though that top, well, <laughs> that was unsatisfying, even though the top was definitely already there. All right, so this washi tape does not like to stay. <laughs> That's okay, though. It's nice. I like it. 
I do kind of wish I'd went back with some white on this blue one, but I think the dark kind of works in its favor. Um, and I think they're really cute! Yay! So this is the final product. Um, yeah. We're gonna do something fun with it eventually. You guys will find out about it. My patrons will find out about it first. Also, my Patreon is reopened this month, so for the month of June, you will be getting rewards now. Yay, I've reopened my Patreon. So if you're interested on becoming a patron, there'll be a link up on the iCard thing there, so you can go check it out. Um, if you don't, that's totally cool too. You support me here by watching my video, commenting, liking, etc. So I appreciate that as well. So anyway, here's a look at the final little squid piece. It's just a fun little painting, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, my adorable squid links to the lil. Also, I have social media and stuff down in the description below in case you, you know, want to follow me over there. Real quick little sidebar, I actually made a lot of changes to this piece. I added some outlines and I actually did add some eyes to these, so I just wanted to show you the final product um, as its actual final form. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy it, and until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!